So due to the current situation, I know that a lot of us are doing online school and whether you're in college or high school, the change can be super rough. And that's where I come in. I am finally useful for something. I've been doing online school since last year, so I have quite a bit of experience to share with you guys. Today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my top tips to be successful while doing online school, showing you guys a little day in my life of what I do for a typical day and finishing off with a little Q&A of questions that you guys asked me on my Instagram. Let's get learning. <laughs> about right Hello, welcome to my channel. Clearly there's a lot of changes going on in all of our lives right now. And I know that a big one for a lot of you is that you are switching from regular school to online school. Or maybe you're already doing online school and you're just looking for some good tips. And I know this whole transitional period can be super rough. So this video is jam packed with my top tips to succeed and to not lose your mind while you're doing online school because it'd be like that sometimes. <laughs> if you guys have any tips, then make sure you comment those down below so we can all help each other out. Let's get into this video. First things first, this is probably my number one tip and that is to set a schedule for yourself. When you're going to normal school, it's mandatory that you have to attend classes at a certain time. That's one of the number one differences about online school is that now you're in charge of your own schedule. So what you do with that is totally up to you, but my advice, don't wake up at 12 p.m. <laughs> It's so easy to let yourself sleep in and I know this because I've done that before but then I always feel so crappy after I feel like there's no way to give you motivation to get up how I used to get up was booking a workout class but all workout classes are canceled so it's kind of on my own self-discipline now so usually what I like to do is wake up around 8 30 anything later than that I just feel a little bit slower and more unproductive throughout the day I know you could super easily wake up at 12 p.m. but then you just kind of shorten your amount of productive hours in the day you don't have to wake up at the same hour that you did when you went to school so if you're waking up at 6 30 you can definitely let yourself sleep a little bit more but but for me, I would say anything earlier than 9.30 is prime. So get up, get out of bed, open your blinds, let the light in, make your bed so that you can't hop back into your bed. Get ready for your day. I feel like even though you probably are not gonna be going out, it feels so gratifying to get ready. It makes you feel a lot better. So go pick out a cute outfit. It can just be an easy dress that you throw on. You can wear sweatpants if you like that. So this is my outfit of the day. The one good thing about online school is that there is no such thing as dress code. So that's why I'm wearing jeans with butt rips because I could not wear that in school. <laughs> wear whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you can feel productive in sweatpants, do that. I'm wearing just this soft cotton top. The only reason I'm wearing denim is because these ones are so comfortable since they have rips everywhere. It allows for really great mobility. Anything that's not your pajamas, basically. But then when you wear pajamas, you're just in that lazy sleepy vibe i know when you do online school it's so easy to be like oh, okay i'm just gonna work in bed all day and wear my pajamas for school ma'am you are playing with fire if you do that <laughs> get out of your pajamas right now if you're the type who like to get ready for school keeping that kind of similar routine if you like to wear makeup putting on a little bit of makeup maybe even some perfume it just makes you feel a lot better about yourself. So when I used to be in school, I would always put on a little bit of makeup. So I'm gonna bring that routine into my online school, even though I am staying home. I feel like everyone has a different definition of getting ready. For some of you, it could just be putting on a cute outfit. Some of you, it might just be doing your hair. I like to do my makeup. So anything that makes you feel good, it makes you feel ready, do that. It'll help you so, so much. Let's do the makeup. Makeup is done. If you do not do this already, I highly recommend you do, and that is using a planner. So this one right here is my academic planner. If your school actually gives you a planner, that would also work, but mine didn't, so I just got this one. Basically, the Sunday before every week, I'll just write out everything I have to do for that day. This definitely makes it super helpful to lay out my week. Even just having a normal day planner like this one has helped me a lot. Do you wanna know how many times my planner has saved my <laughs> because I forgot that there were deadlines? many times. My schedule and my planner is probably going to look a lot different than what yours is. And that's because everyone has different schedules. Some people will have FaceTime calls with their professors and their classmates. I don't have that on the other hand. The number one thing is making sure that you have all your due dates written down because that's something that really hit me in the face is that there's no teacher looking over your shoulder and reminding you and your whole class being like, okay guys, next week this is due, leading up to it the day before. Okay guys, tomorrow this is due. There's none of that. I used to just think, oh, I can just keep all this stored in my head and it's fine. That doesn't work 
at all. Online school can be really stressful and I have just had times where I wasn't diligent with writing my work down that I needed to do in my planner and keeping on top of things. The worst feeling ever. It's like that feeling when you're in school and the teacher's like, okay, I'm gonna pick up these papers that were due today and you're like, and then you're like trying to do it and you try to like get someone to let you copy and you're like rapidly writing it down, but there's no way. You just, it, you gotta take the L. You don't even have to get something as elaborate as this. You can literally just use a blank piece of paper. So I know for a lot of you watching this right now that you actually are forced to switch from regular school to online. But that means since you were in regular school this whole time that you have classmates that you can lean on. So classmate collaboration can really, really help. I have absolutely no idea who my classmates are. I'm working on a group project right now. Keep in mind, I've never met these people before, but we've had a great community going on. I just know them by their name, but we honestly help each other out. Although they all are over the age of 30 and I am 19 it's fine so if you have any class friends that you can reach out to maybe do like an online FaceTime study session or something that could really be helpful all right time to sound like a mom put away your phone do not use your phone when you're trying to do school if you need it for whatever you're doing that's a different story but that is something that has helped me a lot I always would just get the slightest little oh this person liked your photo boom I would be on Instagram for three hours on TikTok for four hours my day would be gone putting your phone on airplane mode putting it in another room just get some separation between you and your phone because it can be super distracting one of my favorite tips is differentiating where you rest and where you do school So this is my little desk setup. Obviously you don't need to have all of this extra stuff. The only reason I kind of have this is because I'm always on my computer with YouTube and stuff. The point here is, is to just create a good space for yourself. Cleaning up your surroundings is a huge thing. I work a lot in my room because I don't have an office or anything to work in. And I know not a lot of people have that luxury of having a separate office. So I try to make my room as clean as possible. I'll make my bed, I'll pick up clothes off the floor so that I can really just sit down, focus super well. I know this is gonna hurt for a lot of you to hear, but if you can avoid it, try not to do schoolwork from your bed. I did that a couple times, and within five minutes, I was either on Netflix or I was sleeping. So personally, I use my desk in my room, and having your designated workspace is something that I just love doing. But if you don't have that option of having a desk, maybe working at your living room table or outside or on the floor, just having a different space where you rest versus where you do work, mentally, it can really help a lot. This next thing, I kind of had to figure out for myself because no one was gonna tell me to do it, and that is to give yourself breaks. It's very easy to just get stuck on the computer for a very long time and to feel like you're just doing it for hours and hours and hours, and that is why I give myself recess and lunch. It's recess. It's actually kind of funny. My mom will even ask me if I'm downstairs and she sees me getting food. She's like, oh, are you in recess or lunch? It's it's funny. What I like to do on my breaks is get outside, get out of my room or whatever space I was working in. The sun is out such a pretty day. I have such a nice backyard and I didn't really realize that until this whole self quarantine thing, but I love being in my backyard. So I love hanging out out there. This is kind of a minor thing, but I love having background noise or background music while I'm studying or doing work. When you're in a classroom, there's all different types of sounds that you're gonna hear. There's people talking, people writing, the teacher yelling, whatever. Anyways, it's really nice to have background noise and not to just be working in silence because for me, it really helps. So what I like to do is play lo-fi hip hop beats. Some people listen to Beethoven, some people listen to piano. It's totally up to you. Some people listen to hardcore rap to each his own This is kind of similar to something I said earlier, but changing up your scenery can be really really nice So I love utilizing my desk as my workspace I love coming out here to do work to do school just anything that changes your environment. So if you're in your room all day, maybe going to another room. If you have an outdoors, utilize that because a lot of people don't have an outdoor space. So if you do, take advantage of it. For me, sometimes if I stay in one place too long, I just get very easily distracted. So that's why I like to move around. If you can, try and do that. It makes doing school from home a lot easier. My reasoning behind this is that when you're in college or high school, you're moving from class to class and that routine of like switching, I just, I don't know, I'm kind of mimicking that in a way. So maybe going from upstairs to downstairs. 
good luck. If you can, have a study buddy. This doesn't even mean that it has to be in person, but you can have a FaceTime study buddy. It really keeps you accountable when you have another person that you're counting on. It's kind of similar to when you have a workout buddy, because if your workout buddy goes to the gym and they're like, okay, are you coming? You're kind of forced to go. So it's a similar concept. Human interaction of any sort is very important, especially during this time. And my last tip, this is really gonna be helpful to think about, is that sometimes with on, actually not sometimes, a lot of the times, most times with online school, you have to take charge of your own learning. There's not someone looking over your shoulder and it's a lot harder to be present in a way with online school. So maybe if you're not understanding something, since you can't really ask a teacher as easily as you could if you were in a class, you could always look up videos on YouTube or get extra practice problems, anything that can help you out like that. And I just wanna say, I know that this situation can, there's just a lot of ways to spin it negatively. And for good reason too. I mean, a lot of you didn't ask to do online school, but life happens we can't stop what's happening we just have to go with it sometimes this is this is not going to be forever but if you want to spin this in a positive way let me tell you this when you guys do online school and this is something that i have felt a lot you get so much better at time management and discipline and those are skills that i'm really building on since i've been doing this so you're going to come out stronger better, you're gonna have those skills which will help you in the real world. So I didn't have time to do a full college week in my life. I feel like that would be a whole separate video if you guys would wanna see that. But I did film a little bit of my day so you can kinda see what I do when I'm doing my college work. Welcome to a little day in my life of online college. So currently it is 1021, which is a little bit of a late start, I guess, but also that's because I worked out, which is really nice for online school because you can wake up, do your own little thing that you like to do. I chose the worst day to do this because it is a Monday, which means it is my learning day. So reading, taking notes, just the worst <laughs> stuff ever. All right, the phone is going over there. Don't need that right now. I'll actually just sit down at my desk area and I still use my backpack. Even though you're doing school from home, it just makes it feel more schooly. Is that a word? That's definitely not a word. It definitely makes it feel more like you're in school and you have your backpack with all your school stuff in it. I just keep all of my books and my pens and stuff in here. Let's see what we have to do today. All right, I am on, I think I'm on week four, yep. <gasps> Oh, that's a lot of reading. It's getting a little bit hard. I've been doing this online school thing since last year, but especially now that I can't go to a coffee shop or a library, it makes it a little bit more difficult because that's what I really look towards. It was like something to do, somewhere to go to, but... Yeah, there's just a lot of distractions at home. <laughs> so this is definitely taking a lot more discipline to like just sit at home and do all this stuff, but if I can do it, you can do it. <laughs> Another tip I would love to share is to close out any tabs that are not going to help you in any way. So any tabs that will distract you. Clearly I do not need Disney Plus, although I would love to watch. So as you can clearly see, there's actually not a lot of computer work I do on these Mondays. Everyone's schedule is different, like I said. But for me, pretty much on Mondays, the only thing I need my computer for is reading articles. Other than that, it's just a lot of reading and note taking, but then the rest of the week is when I'm using my computer a lot. things I did, that. <laughs> okay, three hours later, finally finished. I can cross all of this stuff off. I am finally all done. Sometimes it takes a lot longer. Sometimes there's more reading, sometimes there's less reading. I actually think since I finished this so fast, I might do some of Tuesday's stuff. That's the nice thing about online school. You can get ahead. Even if you're behind, it's a lot easier to catch up, I feel like. So this was only a little day in my life, and honestly, Mondays are the most boring days ever. If you guys want more of a week in my life online college edition, I would totally be down to do that, but let me know in the comments. And good night. <laughs> Lights, camera. And for the last part of this video, I really wanted to answer any of your guys' questions because I know when I was starting online school, I was just looking up so many videos on YouTube looking for certain answers because I was so nervous. So I kind of want to be that person for you guys. If you have any other questions, comment them down below and we can all talk to each other in the comments. It'll be really, really fun. If you want to participate in the next Q&A, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you don't miss out. The number one question that I got was, how do you stay motivated? How do you even get motivated? What keeps you motivated? What even is motivated? Oh, honey, that is 
is a question I'm still trying to figure out myself. For me, I'm thinking, okay, why am I doing this? Why am I working hard on my college program? What are the goals I have? So that kind of motivates me like, okay, this is where I want to be and I need to do this to get there. Motivation is different for everyone. I feel like some people just have it naturally, which if that is you, you are blessed. But for most of us normal folk out here, it is really hard to get motivated, but I think you don't get motivated to start it's once you start that you get motivated, if that makes sense. Because I never really have motivation to sit down and read 15 chapters. That's dramatic. I don't have the motivation to sit down for three hours and read all these chapters. I feel motivated after I do it, if that makes sense. But there's no one recipe to want to start. You kind of just have to start. Hopefully this video helps you get motivated. Maybe you can reach out to some class friends, maybe have some FaceTime study sessions. That could get you motivated. Just start. I know that's the hardest thing to do, but once you start, you're going to feel so good and you're going to feel so accomplished. Set goals for yourself throughout the day. So a big goal could be, okay, I want to get this done by the end of the day, but also have little goals throughout the day. So if your end goal for the day is finish all of your science work, you can have little goals like read this chapter, do this work problem, whatever. Hopefully the answer helps. I know it's really hard to get motivated and I think that's something everyone struggles with. How to stay focused and productive. I feel like a lot of the tips in this video probably helped you with that. Having a clean space, putting away your phone, you have to do it because oof, you are just asking for it if you are like, let me just check my notification. You will scroll on TikTok for three hours and I know that because I do that sometimes. Having a schedule honestly helps me be so productive. Otherwise, I'm just running around not knowing what I'm doing next and it just feels very scatterbrained. So I really like at the beginning of the day or even the night before writing out everything that I need to do for the day. So that really helps keep me on track. It makes me feel super productive. And also checking off boxes is the most satisfying feeling. So work towards that. Do you have to ask your teacher to use the bathroom? No. Is online school hard or easy? I feel like everyone is kind of like, oh my gosh, online school is so easy when you don't do it. But then once you do it, you're like, oh my gosh, wait, no one is telling me what to do. Which at first can be really fun because you're like, oh my gosh, I have all this free time. It feels like vacation. But then your due dates comes up. It's definitely not easy. There's pros and cons to online school for sure. I think my favorite part about online school is that I can fit it into my schedule, not I can make my schedule fit school, if that makes sense. Because with online school, I can wake up in the morning, do my whole workout thing, do my morning routine. It's really nice. When we can finally travel again, you can always travel if you do online school. But for sure, a con is just the motivation, the classroom setting. I miss being in a classroom sometimes. I think a lot of you probably feel the same way too. You don't really know what you have till it's gone. And now that none of us can really go to school, that classroom interaction and having your teacher tell you when things are due, when you're doing online school, you're kind of just all on your own. What is your favorite way to study or what's a study method you use? I love writing down my notes. I do have an iPad that I do my work on sometimes and I know some people love taking notes on their iPad, but for me, I really like pen and paper. I love my whole stationary thing going on. Writing stuff out definitely helps versus typing notes out. So I'll go over my notes. I'll even do that weird, it's not weird, but like it looks like I'm talking to myself. I'll read my notes and I'll just be like, I'll kind of say it out loud. I mean, with tests for online school, oh yeah, you can you can cheat, but that's all on you. And at the end of the day, will that really help you in life? Uh, no, but I'm not your mom. So, I mean, I just realized another thing for motivation, maybe if you love to eat, like how I like to eat, I love snacking. For motivation, you could be like, okay, if I finish this section of work, I will allow myself to have this snack. I do that sometimes, that honestly really helps. So I just wanna throw that in there. The last question I'm gonna answer is, how do you manage to stay on task when you have so many distractions like your phone? I know when you do online school, there's a lot of distractions. Maybe it's your family, maybe it's your phone, your computer. If you have a lot of siblings or your family is super loud or noisy, maybe just close your door, ask them to be a little bit more quiet, tell them you're studying to not bother you. And I understand your phone being a distraction, but that's something that you can totally control. Just putting it on airplane mode, not looking at it till the end of the day, really treating it like you're at an actual school. So just set school hours for yourself and off hours when you can watch Netflix, watch YouTube. So that way you don't kind of intertwine the two so that one second you're doing your math homework and then the next second you're watching Netflix. No, schedule your time wisely. And those are all the questions I'm going to answer. And that's going to be the end of this video. I hope you guys found it helpful. Hopefully this just made things a little bit easier for you guys. If you stay to this point in the video, comment down below. Computadora. That means computer in Spanish. And if you guys are bored at home and have nothing to do, I also have a vlog channel and an Instagram that I've been posting a lot of fun stories on. So make sure you keep up with me on that. Good luck to all of you. Not that you need, well, you, well, we all need a little bit of luck. Okay.